yesterday I turned in the only Windows computer I had. It was a work laptop and I'm switching jobs. So I will be using a Mac M1 for my new day job. And this led me to realize I don't have any Windows machines at all anymore. They don't exist in my house. I may have to set up a VM for work or something like that, but I'm now purely a mostly Linux person and occasionally some Mac stuff. And that's kind of cool to me because I would have never expected that to be the case when I started using Linux in November 2018. So I wanted to talk about kind of why I ended up switching to Linux in the first place and also just some of the changes that has brought about because there's some really cool changes that I've noticed just due to that simple choice. We'll go back just a little bit and give some background. First, I tried Linux in about 2008, but I was having an issue with the hard drive on PC at the time, so it was just not a great experience. I also just didn't really understand Linux that well at that point, and I'm still learning a lot in Linux to be fair anyway. I was one of those people, I was into tech quite a bit. I was using Windows constantly for my day job. I would come home, I would hop on my computer and I would talk on TeamSpeak for Mumble with friends and we would play PC games. And that's how I ended up spending a lot of my time. But as time went on, I just began to feel like Windows was fighting me more and more and more. And at one point my main desktop PC went down and I really didn't have any motivation to fix it. I didn't, I wasn't, hadn't been particularly using it overly much and I had no desire to fix it to the point where I could use it again and just get stuck in Windows all over again. So I was using a laptop and just kind of doing anything that I had to do on a computer there. Otherwise I was basically using my phone, which you know, is kind of what most people do now. Around US Thanksgiving 2018, a friend of mine started using Linux and I know Proton had just come out, I believe that summer and was kind of in its infancy stage. And I was like, okay, you know, maybe it's time to give Linux another shot. I'm really just like, I'm just over Windows. I really wanna try something different anyway. So I installed Linux on an external hard drive. I went with Mint because that was the one that I could get to cooperate with my hybrid graphics laptop at the time. And for the most part, it worked very well. Hybrid graphics was a bit of a pain to deal with, but once I got everything kind of set up and running, it just kind of worked. I think I even tried to record 1080p video and I was able to do that and even play around with editing some of it at that point, I believe. After about 30 days on the external hard drive, I decided okay, I'm never, I haven't been booting into Windows. I don't really see a need to. So I'm gonna copy what files I need and I'm gonna install this on bare metal and just do it that way. And I did, everything started working out. I ran that for several months. I ended up starting doing distro challenges with the Big Daddy Linux community at the time. I broke my grub several times and had to learn about Refind, I believe it is, and fix it that way. And for the most part, I was just learning lots of new things in Linux, trying to see what things I could break, breaking a lot of things, and eventually, the NVIDIA graphics actually ended up breaking that install and I had to kind of jump to Ubuntu Mate. And once I got there, they had that new kind of tool that lets you select which graphics card you could do in the menu. And I was able to do that and use that. So I ended up playing around with many different distros during this time. I think I even installed Arch Linux the hard way uh, at one point and learned a lot. About a year later, about a year after starting this, so around, again, Thanksgiving 2019, I started building a new machine and I put in a Ryzen 3900X, 32 gigs of RAM, really a great all around PC for me, which I could really grow into and use. Shortly after that is when I actually started making videos. By the way, don't go back and watch these videos. They are not good. I ended up installing Manjaro in that machine and that Manjaro install is still running today. I have had like two issues with it. One was, surprise, surprise, an NVIDIA graphics driver issue that I was able to TTY and just reinstall the driver and I believe everything worked out from there. The other was a pipewire issue that I probably kind of exacerbated at one point. But as I kind of got more into Linux, that is where I started really looking at doing the YouTube channel. So if I had stayed in Windows, 
I do not think I'd be doing anything in YouTube right now. Maybe I would be doing something gaming related. I don't know, but I find it unlikely. And that would be because I just probably wouldn't want to sit on the computer long enough to do that. In addition to all that though, I've learned many different things about Linux. I've thought about many, learning many other projects too. Like Python. Python is something that I always wanted to learn more, but I just never did. But once I had kind of gotten back into the groove of really being more into tech and learning lots of things about Linux, I eventually decided that I wanted to really focus on learning some Python. And I started doing that. And learning Python is what actually got me the job that I just left. So Linux indirectly got me that job. Linux also indirectly got me my next job because I ended up learning a lot and learning what I did and didn't like about my employer and kind of pushed me to the point where I was ready to say, okay, I think I may be ready to look at going somewhere else. And, you know, here we are, it kind of fell in my lap, but now I'm starting a new job Monday and that's kind of partially due to Linux because again, I just don't, I don't know what things would have been like. I don't know what things I would have really tried to explore. I'd be very curious at what my life would look like when it comes to just wanting to learn new things. And so indirectly, Linux ended up getting me that job as well because Linux ultimately kind of reignited my desire to learn things about tech and learn things about coding and programming and whatever. And there are many other things that I want to learn. I want to learn more about flat packs. I want to learn more about Python still. I want to learn maybe some Lua. I want to learn more Vim. And uh, that might be a live stream you see soon is me starting to really work on Vim. I just find it interesting how Linux kind of pushed me back into the tech world and back into really wanting to learn more about tech. Cause I just don't think I would have done that had I stayed on Windows. And again, I'm not trying to bash Windows. It's just that I felt like Windows was fighting me. But in, for the most part, I feel like Linux gets out of my way and at times can even enhance my workflow in ways that would be a lot more difficult on the Windows side of things. I just found this all kind of interesting because switching to Linux is ultimately what led me to getting really back into tech, learning a lot more about various aspects of technology and even going to the Mac a little bit. And that indirectly led me to a, a job and a job now. So I just found it really interesting. I would be very curious what I'd be like without my time in Linux at this point. It also kind of makes me wonder about people in a similar situation to me. Like what people are out there that are frustrated by Windows, but they'd actually be more into tech if they went with a Mac or if they went with Linux because just the way they think or the way they work or whatever else that whatever particular operating system they're using is holding them back on. I, I don't know the answer to that, but I just find it interesting that the switch to Linux has ended up changing so many aspects to me that again, I just don't think would have happened had I stayed on Windows. But that's it for this week. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.